When we look up to the starry sky on a clear night, we get a distant glimpse of seemingly totally alien worlds. The view to the stars helps us in turn to get an approximate feeling for the relationship of us and our Earth to the Great Whole. The sheer gigantic universe fascinates us not least because of its countless secrets, which have posed ever new puzzles to international scientists for many centuries. All the more important are therefore the groundbreaking new discoveries that are regularly made in the field of astronomical research. We leave the Earth, the only home we know, to reach the farthest reaches of the cosmos. If you would like to join us on our journey, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. As most of us know, our Earth is part of a superordinate planetary system. In detail, this consists of eight different planets, which orbit around a fixed star, our Sun, at a finely tuned regularity. The corresponding celestial bodies, however, are as diverse as they are astonishing. While Saturn amazes people with its gigantic ring system and its countless moons, Mars, also known as the Red Planet, has always been accompanied by fantastic myths and legends. Today we would like to take you on a trip to a planet in our solar system that is normally not as much in the limelight as its galactic neighbors. We dedicate ourselves to Mercury. Some years ago, NASA came up with the first real images of the celestial body. The images that were subsequently published showed us the planet in all its detailed beauty and complexity. Images of this kind help us humans to better understand the universe around us. But what actually distinguishes Mercury? What Mercury missions have been carried out by the international space agencies to date? And what level of knowledge do we currently have about our galactic neighbor? In the following video, we would like to explore these questions together with you. Mercury, smaller, faster, closer. Of all eight recognized planets that make up our solar system, Mercury is the closest to our fixed star. For this reason, Mercury is also listed as the first planet in our solar system. The relatively small spatial distance between Mercury and the Sun averages about 58 million kilometers. For comparison, the Earth is located, on average, about 149.6 million kilometers away from our central fixed star. This small distance also ensures that Mercury is the fastest celestial body in our planetary system. While our blue home planet is known to take 365 days to completely orbit the Sun, Mercury manages this feat in just 88 days. Mercury is not only the fastest and closest to the Sun in our solar system, but also the smallest of all planets. With a diameter of 142,870 kilometers, Jupiter represents the upper end of the flagpole. At the same time, Mercury has a diameter of just 4,880 kilometers. In the case of our Earth, the corresponding value is 12,742 kilometers. Mercury is also out of the ordinary in terms of its surface temperatures. During the day, the thermometer on the planet reaches values of up to more than 430 degrees Celsius. However, once the sun has set, the surface of Mercury is bitterly cold, and then the values drop to as low as negative 170 degrees Celsius. Thus, Mercury has the largest temperature fluctuations of all the planets in our solar system. The first planet in our solar system was given its name by the ancient Romans. In Roman mythology, the deity Mercurius played the role of messenger of the gods and thus represented the counterpart to the Greek Hermes. Mercury in Space Research so far, three missions have been carried out by the various space agencies, all of which were concerned with the exploration of the first planet in our solar system. Let's have a look at the Mercury flights in detail. The Mariner Mission Already on November 3, 1973, the unmanned space probe Mariner 10 set out to provide mankind with the first precise information about Mercury. In detail, 
this mission was characterized by its high complexity. To get close to Mercury, the probe had to perform a so-called swing-by maneuver. In this method, the missile was steered into the immediate vicinity of Venus in order to reduce its own orbital energy. Thus, the Mariner 10 passed Venus in February 1974 and finally reached the immediate vicinity of Mercury on March 29th of the same year. At the same time, the NASA flight vehicle was the first space probe ever to reach the area around the nearest celestial body in our planetary system. Before the probe was finally switched off on March 24, 1975, it collected many important data concerning Mercury. Thanks to the approximately 9,000 images taken by the Mariner 10 during the mission, about 45% of Mercury's planetary surface could be captured by the camera. In retrospect, however, the results of the Mariner mission were classified as rather rough. Many questions about the nature and natural mechanisms of Mercury remained unanswered. The Messenger Mission Since the launch of the Mariner 10 on November 3, 1973, over 30 years were to pass before NASA initiated a new exploration of the smallest planet in our solar system. The space probe used for this purpose was christened MESSENGER. In detail, this is an acronym consisting of the words Mercury Surface, Space Environment, Geochemistry, and Ranging. Thus, the name MESSENGER alludes to the planet's name origin, which was borrowed from Roman mythology. Compared to the other representatives in our planetary system, very little was known about Mercury in the run-up to the MESSENGER mission. The natural position of the planet is a major obstacle for space research. Because of the small distance between Mercury and the Sun, NASA's probes have to withstand enormous heat and intense radiation. However, observing Mercury from our Earth is also more difficult in practice than some would initially suspect. For this reason, the successful execution of the MESSENGER mission was the top priority of the renowned space agency. In the course of the previous Mariner mission, various measurements of the Mercury magnetic field had already been made. These rare data, which are now more than 30 years old, were to be supplemented and extended over a large area within the framework of the MESSENGER program. The now far more advanced technology also enabled the scientists to study the planet much more thoroughly than the limited resources of the Mariner 10 once allowed. Equipped with the most modern equipment, the MESSENGER finally took off into space on August 3, 2004 from the Cape Canaveral spaceport in the U.S. state of Florida. New Findings on the Composition of Mercury After covering a distance of 8 billion kilometers, the NASA space probe was the first man-made flying object to reach the direct orbit of Mercury in spring 2011. During the mission, the MESSENGER was located between 200 and 15,000 kilometers above the planet's surface. The data collected during the flights caused pure astonishment among scientists. The images taken by the space probe showed that unusually high concentrations of calcium and magnesium are found on the night side of the celestial body. In addition, Mercury's magnetic field is not, as expected, at the center of the body, but in much more northern regions. In November 2012, the galactic drumbeat finally followed. MESSENGER found frozen water on Mercury that had accumulated at the planet's North Pole. In addition, further organic material was detected in several craters on the planet's surface. After the NASA space probe's fuel was completely depleted, the MESSENGER hit the surface of Mercury on April 30, 2015, at a breathtaking speed of more than 14,000 kilometers per hour, leaving a crater about 16 meters wide. Breathtaking Images of the Planetary Surface The photos of the Mercury surface taken during the MESSENGER mission are both beautiful and impressive. The spacecraft succeeded in capturing many areas of the celestial body that were previously completely unknown to mankind. For example, some of the MESSENGER photos show the huge crater called Debussy, which has a gigantic diameter of 80 kilometers. All in all, the gray giant resembles our Earth moon in its outer appearance. Never before have such detailed photos of the sunniest representative of our planetary system been taken. Present and future of the Mercury missions. The international space agencies are still trying to investigate our galactic neighbor more closely. 
Only a few years after the Messenger mission was completed, another space probe began its flight towards the smallest planet in our system. While the two previous programs were carried out on behalf of NASA, the last trip to Mercury so far started under the care of two other space agencies. The European Space Agency, ESA, cooperated with its Japanese colleagues from JAXA for this undertaking. The spacecraft developed during the collaboration was named Bepi Colombo and left Earth on October 10, 2018. During the mission, both the history of the planet and its physical composition will be studied in detail. However, several years will pass before Bepi Colombo finally reaches Mercury's orbit. Currently, experts assume that the space probe will probably reach the distant planet in December 2025. We can remain curious about the groundbreaking results and breathtaking images that this new mission will bring us. Until then, we're looking forward to the aforementioned Mercury photos taken during the Messenger mission. Your opinion interests us. Do the fascinating photos of Mercury impress you as much as it astonishes us? Feel free to let us know your thoughts and suggestions on the topic in the comment section. Thank you very much for your active interest. Take care, and see you next time.